Hate is growing on Diamond Street over new traffic calming measures soon to be installed by the city. Some neighbors are meeting with their city council member tonight to try to put a stop to it. CBS 8's Brian White is working for you live in Pacific Beach tonight where people have mixed feelings on this. Brian? Yeah, Marcella and Jesse, I'm here on the mm. corner of Diamond Street and Faneuil Street here where there's going to be bollards installed tomorrow right here in the, along the middle of this intersection. Now that'll prevent cars from being able to go straight through. Instead, they'll have to make a right hand turn all in an effort to reduce the number of cars on this road. Diamonds being singled out. We have no idea why we the residents have not been asked. Uh, we do not need it. We do not want it. Some people living around here are not happy about the city's latest attempt to slow traffic on this street. We didn't know anything was coming. We weren't warned. We weren't asked. We weren't pulled uh, about this at all. While others around here are eager to try anything that might make the street safer. As a resident, that doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm willing to make some adjustments in favor of public health and safety. The new bollards would prevent cars from using Diamond Street as an east-west cut through, making them turn right to get off Diamond, while bicyclists and skateboarders could still pass through. I don't let my kids out in the front yard to play because of the speed with which people go down this street and the lack of attention they pay to any of the stop signs. If that can be improved, this becomes a safer spot for any of the children living on this street. During the pandemic, the city turned Diamond into a slow street, closing it down to through traffic, making more space for walking, biking, and other ways of getting around. The street was opened up again to cars this past January, but soon the city will be installing these bollards at two of Diamond's busiest intersections, at Faneuil and at Cass Street. Now the proposal to have the bollards uh, only at a couple intersections to me represents a compromise. Catherine Sweet lives on Diamond and she welcomes this idea. I walk my kid to school every day and I see kids riding their bikes to and from school and the bollards will just cut down the opportunities for interactions between people without a metal cage around them and people in cars. Some people who live one street over say that taking traffic off of Diamond will just push it over to their street. The traffic's got to go somewhere so if you take it off of one street it's going to go on the adjacent street and frankly we just weren't designed for that. Now the city tells me installation begins tomorrow with both intersections being completed within two days and I'm also told that some of the neighbors may be out here protesting during the installation. Working for you in Pacific Beach, I'm Brian White for CBS 8.